In the previous video, we took an in-depth look at the HSL slash grayscale panel and how you can utilize it to control color within your images. In this video, I'd like to take a slightly different direction and show you how to convert your images to grayscale using the HSL slash grayscale panel and then use the split toning feature to create some unique effects such as sepia tones for your images. So to begin with, you can see that I have one of my images open. Now I've actually done a fair amount of work to this image. And to begin with, what I first want to do is go to the HSL slash grayscale panel and I want to convert my image to grayscale. Then I want to go to the split toning panel and what you'll notice is I have a highlight section and a shadow section. Now this will effectively allow me to add individual colors to the highlights or an individual color cast I should say to the highlights and an individual color cast to the shadows. So for example if you had a sepia tone you'd have sort of a very yellow uh, highlight and you'd have a very sort of um, copper bronze uh, slightly redder um, shadow area. So as you can see here you can choose the hue you'd like to add to the highlights. Now I'm going to choose sort of a warm yellow and you can see nothing's effectively happening. And you might also notice if you've got a really good eye is I already actually have a color cast in my image. Now I'm just going to point this out to you because it's quite interesting. Um, you can see by looking at the uh, red, green and blue values that are up near the histogram that it's not a perfect black and white. Now this is primarily because I've actually done some work with the adjustment brush which we'll just take a quick look at. It's a quite slight detail but I'm just I just wanted to point this out because the image doesn't quite have that black and white um, appearance to it. Uh, if I click on that what you'll notice is I've actually got a couple of different um, selections here and one of them's on the actual cliff wall. Now when I select that you'll actually see I've actually got a color cast here. I've got quite a sort of a, um, a low intensity red that I'm actually filling out through that selection right there. Um, so that's primarily why there's actually a color cast in the black and white. So ordinarily if I didn't have this selection there you wouldn't actually have that color cast and it'd be more like this tone here. It'd be much more black and black and white as you can see. Um, but that's a quick detour. What I'm going to do now is jump back to the split toning panel as you can see here and we'll go back to adding uh, changing the hue value just to a, a sort of a warm yellow around 50 there we go. Now what I'm going to do, as, as you can see here, just adjusting the hue itself doesn't actually change the color in the highlights. What you need to do then is actually increase the saturation in order to add that color to the highlights. So as you can see now, the more saturation I add, the image starts to take on quite a yellow sort of tone. So we'll just drop that back a little bit. Now what I'll do is I'm going to go to the shadows. Now the shadows I'm going to keep sort of very high up in the um, the red areas because I'd, I'd really like to have sort of an orangey red um, feel to it, just like a sort of a sepia tone image, but that's probably slightly more towards the orange. Now I'll increase the saturation here. Now it's adding that saturation to, uh, adding that hue to the darker areas of the image as you can see there. Now that actually looks quite nice. I really quite like that effect. It's very close to, to a sepia, but you can see throughout the highlights up the top that it's not quite um, as yellow as I'd probably like, but it is quite nice. Uh, so that's, that's what you can do with split toning. Now you also have the balance slider in the middle here, and this allows you to balance the two hues that you are using uh, within your image and actually choose to have them weighted in your image. So for example, if I wanted the yellow that are in in the highlights, if I wanted that to come throughout the image a bit more as opposed to and come into the sort of the more of the mid-tone, darker areas of the mid-tones, what I can do then is actually just make some adjustments to the slider and you can see that if I go, sorry, wrong direction, if I go across to the right hand side into the highlights, you'll notice that the yellow starts to take dominance over um, over the sort of that orangey red that I added to the shadows. And vice versa, if I go to the darker areas of the balance, 
you'll notice that that sort of more redder copy, copper, sorry, copper color sort of comes through into uh, the overall side of that image. So you can sort of balance out the colors as you see fit and as you are actually editing the image as to what you actually desire and what what you feel sort of looks best and in this particular example I, I quite like it actually sitting around zero because it's got quite of a sort of a yellowy copper sort of uh, feel to it I would actually like to increase the saturation though and I might actually just also increase the saturation of the yellow just to add that yeah that's I think that looks quite nice um, for an image as itself. So that's the split toning panel in Camera Raw. You can do some really creative things with it um, and I, I really think you should have a play around with it just to see whether the type of effects that you can create with it sort of fit with your style of photography and, and whether you feel that you can actually utilize those types of effects in your images.